You know, I was listening to Sadhguru. I don't know how many of you guys know about him. Um, and he was, you know, on, uh, he was on London Rail. Shout out to London Rail. I actually like what that dude is doing. And, you know, they were talking about this whole coronavirus thing. And, um, you know, Sadhguru goes, you know, right now we should be more compassionate and not say, you know, oh, it's, you know, this person's fault or, you know, this person's karma that they're suffering because right now they're suffering. What up, you two? Prove to me that your live greatest poet of all time is still Romania. Link is in the description. So, as I was saying, you know, he said be more compassionate right now. And I say we should always be compassionate. But, of course, you don't want to point fingers to the person laying there and suffering and saying it is your fault. But at times like these, with all of this going on, we can no longer ha ha and he he through life. We can no longer not ask ourselves, why is this happening? So, we're all suffering right now and some most than others and those that are even suffering the most right now for all of us it is important to ask why is this happening how did we get here the sooner that we figure out why this is happening why we are in such a situation that's when we will gain control of our lives, of our decisions. We will realize God gave us the power of choice. We are our own makers. This is a crucial time, a drastic time. Again, we can no longer live in ignorance and bliss and continue on this robotic mode in, in, in this pattern that we have been continuing because if we don't start asking ourselves these questions and most importantly this question why are we here then I keep saying this all the time the next generation will not have a world to live in these are scary times, but you know what? They have always been scary times. We just been too caught up with nothing. Nothing. Every day the same thing. A week looks like a day. A day looks like a month. A month looks like a year. Everything just is the same once in a while we get out on vacation at best and these are the western countries what about the rest of the world trust me i lived in poverty but as my wife always says it is better to be rich at heart than rich with money so when i bring you these videos i don't want to bring you down I want to light a fire under your you know what. I want to make sure that we leave something for the next generation. I keep repeating this all the time, but I never get tired of saying this. Ancient people, our ancestors used to make sure that for the next seven generations, for the next seven generations, their predecessors can live fruitfully, bountifully, prosperously. We screwed up our generation. The least that we can do is at least to make sure that the next generation has some. That is our duty. You know what? A duty of each generation is to say, you know what? I want my kids or the next generation because all the kids are our kids the next generation to do even just a little bit better than we did a little bit better than i did that is the most important thing that we can do
So again, of course you want to be compassionate. You want to be compassionate all the time. But out of compassion comes great passion. To ask yourself, how the heck did I get here? Where did I miss on life? Where, where did I miss this? Where did I go wrong? Where did I go astray? Who took me here? Who led me here? The sooner we figure that out, the sooner we can grasp the situation that we have at hand today and we can trace it back to the roots and start plucking out the bad roots so we can have the good fruits grow and flourish and keep living and keep reaching for the sun. I just had to freestyle some thoughts. Shout out to everybody that has been getting engaged, subscribing and commenting, saying all these kind words. I appreciate it so much, you guys. From Romania and I, peace, love, unity, health, and spiritual prosperity. All right? Love all of you. Sincerely do. This was put to me to your life. Food for thought. Uno.